guys, yeah. it is week four of our beginner sewing series mm -hmm. here on Inside the Hem. Uh, kind of can't believe we're at the end of this. I it's know. been so much fun kind of going yeah. back in time for us and remembering what it was like to be a beginner yeah. sewist. Yeah. Uh, but today we are going to talk about some online resources. Well, online and then also some like books that, that you can buy. Mm -hmm. So they're not all digital, mm -hmm. but um, just some resources that are really good for beginners that will help you learn new techniques, advance, you know, your sewing skills, you know, be able to ask questions of the community, mm -hmm. which I mean, the sewing yeah, community helpful. is, it'll, it constantly still surprises me how helpful and nice yeah. and just wonderful. Yeah. Everyone. We must have some certain type of personality. Maybe. Just so they're just the like creative mind, caring, helping yeah. something because people love sharing their projects. Yeah. They love looking at other people's projects and yep. they love helping you when you're having an issue. Yeah. So absolutely 100%. So yeah. we're going to go through some of those resources now. Um, the first one, Abby has, subscribe to for a while. Yeah, so um, when I first started, I just started subscribing to pretty much everything, um, looking at tutorials, kind of like, what I want to try, what I want to sew, and um, the So Can She blog, um, they do a tutorial, a free tutorial every day. You subscribe to them, you get a free tutorial in your inbox every day, um, sometimes very simple things, simple as pillowcase. Um, some things are a little more advanced, might be a bag. And I just find that all the tutorials are really great. There's a lot of um, great kind of like gift options you might want to try um, on on their mm -hmm. site. So I really, really enjoy theirs. And you can even go on their website and find all the past tutorials. So you've been subscribed for the four years that we've been sewing. And mm -hmm. do they repeat? No. They're, I mean, there'll be different types of bags or different types of pillowcases. But no, I don't That's know how they me. find people that can think of the, I can't think of tutorials. People have asked me before, you want to do a tutorial for this blog tour. I'm like, I can't do that. I rely on other people <laughs> to give me tutorials. So yeah, I, I'm impressed. Wow, I that's really cool. Does it, you, I, probably for the experience. So this would even just be like a good, um, way to inspire mm -hmm. you yeah. to make something you wouldn't normally make. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't make a lot of other stuff besides clothing, but I still will click on them every morning when I'm checking my email because I just like to see what people have made and the ideas and the fabrics yeah, they use. that's really and, cool. Yeah, so good one. Check that's that fun. one out. Um, another one that I really like is um, Craftsy. Mm -hmm. People in Craftsy, they have a lot of online courses. Yeah. I've signed up for a few of theirs. Um, they have like a sale. We're so ridiculously cheap. I feel like they do that sale. They do it a lot. Often. Don't buy class classes on sale. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. yeah. They they'll run deals, but they have classes for beginners all the way up to mm -hmm. advanced, really advanced, advanced yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you could really um, kind of stay with Craftsy and your the the classes that you buy you own for life, mm -hmm. so you can go back and watch them yeah, exactly. anytime you want. And also, I feel like their kits. The sewing yeah, they kits. Have, have you ever bought one of those? I haven't bought one just because I always, when a new pattern comes out, I'm like so quick to buy it. I get so excited yeah. by new patterns. So a lot of times I already own the pattern that comes with the kit. Oh, so okay. I'm like, Ugh, we should have mentioned this in the fabric one, but I feel like when I bought the kit, for me, it was like peace of mind in knowing that I was going to get a fabric that an expert mm -hmm. picked That's just true. for that pattern. It was maybe the first knit dress that I ever sewed came from a craftsy kit and the reason why I bought it is because I knew there wouldn't be any question in terms of the quality of the mm -hmm. knit and that it was picked by the pattern designer for everyone to use yeah so I mean not necessarily resource more of a fabric thing but still um you know you can kind of learn learn and discern mm -hmm. a lot from the different parts of mm -hmm. craftsy yeah yeah definitely a lot of information on there the next one I haven't gone on here as much just because I have a hard time keeping up with all the different social media. So I blog about things I make. Of course, we have our videos. So this is just another place people upload things they make. And I just, I can't keep up with it all. Yeah. Instagram too. But it's um, Collabora. It's just, you upload your project. Um, you can talk about your project. You include some pictures. Um, so it's just a really good place to check out to see things that people have made. Um, and they'll talk about like issues they had, sizing. It's almost like right. a mini blog. Isn't it though that you can 
the questions are already predetermined and you answer them so everybody's collabora post is the same they with do, the they, same information they do have some yeah some requirements but there's also places you can add in your own information okay yeah. so yeah. the basic stuff are probably fit and sizing, mm -hmm. the fabric you used, mm -hmm. those kinds of things you will get in every single collaborate post, which you might not get from uh, Instagram for sure. You wouldn't yeah. get that there maybe. Yeah. So, yeah. cool. Um, another one has this kind of similar option, Indie Sew. Um, yeah. It's a place where you can buy fabric and patterns. Lots of patterns. There's like mm -hmm. over 200 patterns. But within each pattern you click on, people can upload their creations yes. to the pattern. So it's another place you can go. Almost like a click review. Click on the pattern. Sort of. Yeah, you can re they review it. I've got a bunch of stuff on there. Um, but it's like a, just another way to see the finished garment, mm -hmm. see if you know you think you might like it for yourself. Yeah. So that's a good one yeah. too. Indie Sew is good. Yeah. Um, and then a lot, you know, Indie Sew just supports the indie sewing community. Mm -hmm. Only sews, only sells indie patterns. Um, and we've mentioned this before in our pattern video for beginners, how wonderful the sew alongs are that mm -hmm. the pattern designers do. Um, do. That's something that the indie, indie community has that just completely sets them apart from the big four yeah. for sure. Major um, and the sew alongs are a good resource simply because you will not know how to do a certain technique and you will be committed to the sew along and then you kind of look at your thing and you're like, oh, I just did that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never knew how to do that before. Yeah. I did my first zipper or I did my first mm -hmm. understitch or my first pocket or whatever your first anything yeah. is. And the sew alongs are so broken down and they so are. detailed you don't even realize you're kind of doing and learning something new. Yeah. So yeah, they're great. Um there's they put so much more information in the sew along than they'll put even in their their direction. So there'll be a lot of little tidbits that you can pick up from there that you wouldn't have gotten if you just read the directions. I sewed up um the grain line Alder. Alder, yeah. Alder, completely from her sew along. Mm -hmm. And I mean it's button placket mm -hmm. and a collar and that was beyond helpful. So yeah. I love those. Yeah the they're sew alongs are really great. And gosh, I wanna say just about every Indie, can you think of anyone that doesn't do them? Mm, not really. Any, any, any of the maybe main... for some super simple stuff like are they're really basic knit tea? Well, I don't know. Even then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think they do them for yeah. all the patterns. Yeah, it's a great. lot of work, but it's it's really they all do a really good job with it. So. Yes, definitely. Um, some other blogs that we really like are well. If you want to know all the blogs I like, I am on Blog Lovin. Blog okay. Lovin. <laughs> yes. Um, so I Blog Lovin is just a place where you can go on, you can search sewing blogs, and it pulls them all together for you, and you can follow every, everybody through there, and then you get a feed in your inbox every morning saying all the new posts people wrote. I'm on there, so you can go on and see me and see all the blogs I follow. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. If I like, there's somebody I really love and I have the same style, I'll go see who they follow mm -hmm. so I can find more, you know, people that I like that sew similar things to me. So yeah. blog loving is a great resource. Yeah. Anytime I am sewing, especially an indie pattern, but even the big four, mm -hmm. I Google the pattern yeah. um, and pop up Google Images. So I just go right to Google Images mm -hmm. and I look at all the things people have sewn and then if I really like it then I click on it and it takes me to their blog. So yeah. then I found somebody new to follow. Yeah. Um, but when I just think off Indie Sew offhand, they also do a blog. Mm -hmm. All um, of the pattern indie oh, pattern yep. designers have a blog. Yep. A Tobias, lot of these she's got yeah, the fabric studio. The fabric stores that we like, Kelly Fabrics, mm -hmm. Stylemaker Fabrics. I mean they everybody has a blog these days. Yeah. Um, so you just have to find yeah, like Abby said, someone that has the same similar vibe as you. So those things that you think are consistently pretty mm -hmm. um, and maybe someone who's even a little more advanced than you would be helpful because they will always kind of be a step ahead of you yeah mm -hmm. and um, can help inspire you to try new things yeah so another really great resource that kind of ties back into social media a little bit is blank slate patterns Facebook group so she has a Facebook page and that's nice but she also has a group that you can join. And I'm a member of this group and I am always seeing beginners post to the group to ask, I mean, a multitude of questions, whether it's fitting questions, sizing questions. I mean, obviously they're always related to a blank slate pattern mm -hmm. because it's her group. But in terms of making 
a pattern for the first time or using a woven for the first time or using a knit for the first time that is usually what i see in her group and then mm -hmm. as people start their project if something's kind of going awry um they will go back there and they will ask their question and always i will see comments people nice. i don't know that i've ever seen a post that just went ignored and really? that no one responded to yeah <laughs> and i mean there are some pretty wacky questions up there too so yeah. don't feel like oh i'm like so new with this and my questions are going to be so dumb i promise you <laughs> there is already a dumber question up there <laughs> there have been some really entertaining ones that i have just had to follow along and yeah. see how people comment how do you respond to a question <laughs> like that is what i'm thinking in my mind but you know if you want to start with the blank slate pattern great beginner patterns mm -hmm, by the way great. um their facebook group is really helpful mm -hmm. but even if you aren't sewing a blank slate pattern, it's nice to be a part of that group because you can see some of the questions that other people have mm -hmm. and get people's answers that you might be able to apply to a different pattern. Right. So I really like her Facebook group yeah. a lot. She also has that thing where you can sign up for the free patterns. There's like a library of like a bunch of free patterns. Oh, because she releases a lot of like free, like she's got a free shorts pattern. Is that what you're yeah, about? Yeah, they're all in her size because mm -hmm. she just dropped it him for herself. Like, must be nice to be a pattern designer. And yeah, just, no, like, just make whatever you want for yourself. Make whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> within that is a newsletter. Um, and I don't know that we've talked too much about newsletters. Newsletters, yes. Yeah. So sometimes for me, blogs and newsletters kind of go hand in hand because they're just because they come to my email. Yeah, you know? yeah that's true. So I don't really differentiate between, but so many of the people, mm -hmm. I mean, NC so has got a newsletter. Well, I think they and... use the newsletter to promote the blog. I think that's yeah. like the most obvious marketing link, but it do isn't always that way. Like the Colette snippets. Mm -hmm newsletter technically a newsletter not a blog it's right. a newsletter because you can only find it in your email you that's can't right. find you it online back. that's right exactly and the snippets blog is literally five sentences mm -hmm. very super short and sweet super short and it's just a really quick tip on how to make your life easier mm -hmm. how or you're sewing, sewing. <laughs> yes not, not <laughs> we're not going down that path um how to just do things better do things smarter cheaper cheaper like i just saw yeah. they did um a bobbin using the nail pit no um nail things that go yeah. through your toes a so bobbin like holder with a pedicure those spongy pedicure things yeah a lot of times it's like why didn't i think of that <laughs> yeah. yeah they have very clever stuff on so there. they'll i think it has come out monthly or weekly i don't remember i think weekly okay at least weekly at least sure. weekly yeah. so yeah if you find someone um a pattern designer or a fabric store or a blogger or somebody that you really like subscribe to their newsletter too mm -hmm. you might get some different kind of content there than you would get on on the blog for right. sure and then one more thing before we leave the internet i'm not big on facebook but on Instagram, I mean, that's where I go, along with Googling image things. I go onto Facebook and I sh do hashtags. Instagram. Hashtags, did I, sorry, Instagram and do hashtags. Hashtags have a real purpose. I'm sorry, I'm not one to speak in hashtags, but hashtags do have a real purpose. So you can just, do, you know, hashtag true bias patterns. And all the people that have tagged what they made with a true bias pattern will pop up and you can see and get inspiration. You can type in um, the specific pattern. People mm -hmm. even do the specific pattern. So you can really pull mm -hmm. together lots of different ideas, uh, help you pick out a fabric if you're wanting to sew a particular pattern. Yeah, so I if really you're like that. using a big four pattern, they don't named like, you know, Tate top. Mm -hmm. They're the, a letter and four numbers. You can put that, that key in a, a hashtag mm -hmm. search and it'll pull up um, that same thing right exactly. people that have sewn that garment with um yeah and posted it to instagram obviously yeah so you can search the big four which is hard to do because people don't post it i don't know if people don't blog them as such i'm not sure maybe I think it's... because indie designers are blogging their patterns to get them out there that yeah. we naturally when we make them want to blog them back yeah well i think <laughs> I it's know. easier to search for uh you know biscayne blouse because mm -hmm. it has a name and it's mm -hmm. i don't know but whenever you're sewing m1667 it's like is it mccall's 1667 mccall's right. patterns 1667 right. 
how do you put so maybe they get lost that way maybe i'm not sure I don't know. but um we try and do it or personally i try and do it a couple different ways whenever yeah. i'm hashtagging things right but yeah instagram obviously is really good yeah and then once we kind of go offline um there are a couple books that we really love we already mentioned mm -hmm. one of them in the series um in the two videos ago and that's the tilly so what you love love at first stitch <laughs> love somewhere in there what's so what you love that's something Definitely I was going to say it's not. It's that be might be a different book. Our, our next book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Love It First Stitch. Great book. Yeah. <laughs> we told you before how great that book is. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Yep. Worth the money. Yep. Another one for getting into sewing knits is the Colette Knit Book. They have mm -hmm. a book just about sewing knits. Really takes you from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Lots of great tips. Troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. Different types of knits. That's a really great one to, yeah. to get your feet wet and into that try and hit up a library you can get a lot of these books for That's free true. um obviously you can't take the patterns out of them but you could trace them if they're still in there can you is that, a, is that okay i mean i guess i don't know <laughs> i never really thought about that i don't before. know if they have to take the patterns out or if someone else is probably you already stolen they them. probably have to take the patterns out i don't know but i don't know either but the book it's itself with the resources with the tips with the you know teaching the tutorials mm -hmm. all of that information will still mm -hmm. be in there there are a lot of really great sewing books that are just that are just out there even outside of these two that yeah. we mentioned melly so she did a um that's blank slate she's melly so yeah um she did a book i haven't gotten a chance to check that one yeah out. me either i, I imagine good. if it's an indie pattern maker like colette or blank slate the book is going to be Full of tips on mm -hmm. and and walking you through kind of like a sew along. Is that a verb study? You <laughs> kind of like a here. sew along would be, but if it, but some of them are like actual study guides, uh -huh. you know, where you can learn about the fabric mm -hmm. or you can learn how to do a fitting. Yeah, or, Colette has another book that's not a knit book. Is yeah, I think she has, has a bunch. bunch. She has an original. Hand, book. I had that one too. The Colette's book. guide. To sewing handbook something along that line that's where i learned about different fabrics and what needles to um use yeah. with those fabrics yeah yeah so some of them are too. are purely resources and other ones have patterns incorporated mm -hmm. so go to the library see what they have go to your barnes and noble and just kind of browse the sewing yeah. area i have so much fun in there mm -hmm. looking through the books yeah anyway that's it i hope that we've helped you you know learn a little more about sewing um take your beginner level to the next level help you grow a little more find some things that you want to sew um and love to sew so i hope we've been helpful i feel like we have i think this so like i, I enjoy i really yeah. have enjoyed kind of reminiscing on things that i love and things yeah. that i've learned so yeah i hope you too. guys have enjoyed yeah let us know if you have any questions if any experts are out there watching and you have a resource that you really loved um, please feel free to leave that in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next upload. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and follow us on social media. We are at Inside the Hem just about everywhere that you can think of. Bye! Bye. <laughs>